Yeah, so first and foremost, I think it is important to understand what we're trying to achieve with ESG integration. Um, and for us, that's really about ensuring that the environmental, social and governance risks that are associated with a particular company or security are incorporated into the fundamental analysis. And so for us at Lazard, we've always um, ensured that the analysts that are covering the sectors are responsible for ensuring that that is incorporated into their research. Uh, we don't have a, a, a large separate ESG team that undertakes that work. Uh, for us, ESG integration is about ensuring that that work is done by the analysts that know the companies, they know the sectors inside out. And for me, that is true ESG integration. Um, I think in terms of the, the point you make around different asset owners having different preferences or different ESG objectives, that is a challenging part of this discussion. As Faith said, ESG means different things to different people. It is a bit of an alphabet soup. For some people, it is about sustainable investment or it's about impact investment. And ESG is being used at the moment to describe all of those things. I think having previously actually spent some time working as an asset owner and being very um, well connected with other asset owners, we do all come at this from a slightly different perspective, which is why I think having first and foremost a foundation where you have very strong ESG integration, but then you can customise solutions, particularly for the large clients that actually help them to meet their ESG ESG objectives is where ultimately the market for the institutional side is going. And that is actually also being assisted by technology and big data and all of those other um, investments that asset managers are making around this space.